My name is Shannon Justison. I'm one of the previous supervisors at the third floor. In terms of X-Men itself, we worked on a number of sequences. Fire! Uh, we'll usually work off of photos to try to develop their face so that it looks sort of close. We readjust their scale so that their height is correct, which helps with the framing in case you do have a shot with close-ups. Eric, you said yourself, we're the better men. This is the time to prove it. We did do a bit of mocap in-house on X-Men. We can go to the park, we can go to the parking lot, we can go to whatever floor we want. Um, sometimes we actually take it to sets and have stunt teams use it when we need something a little better than we as previous artists can generate. We see that you know, Karen, who's in the suit today, that we have uh, 17 trackers, um, gyroscopes, accelerometers inside each tracker. First of all, load her body dimensions, so we're scaling the actual actor inside MV Studio to the sizes of Karen. And we're going to perform an M pose, a neutral pose. She's already standing in this pose. And now that's applied to uh, the, the biomechanical model. As the technology you know, is, is very simple to set up, as we've seen, um, it's um, a nice tool for animators to use. The biggest thing, especially from a previous artist, is having that filmic eye understanding storytelling, understanding how to frame a shot. One of the most challenging and rewarding parts of Previs is to just be told to go, go splash around, go make an amazing sequence. I love action films, so I love to do big action set pieces and orchestrate um, amazing shots with you know things blowing up and stuff flying and stunts and just figuring all that out is just, it's, that's a big rush for me and just to try to sort out like, Let's give them something they haven't seen before. You ready for this? Let's find out. <laughs> 